everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at the latest with Invest94. I'll briefly talk about Sean as well, which should become post-tropical very, very soon. So let's go on to the satellite imagery and here we can see that much isn't happening with 94L. It's not looking too good out there as those thunderstorms, all that activity associated with it remains pretty disappointing organized right now but it will try to get itself together over the coming days eventually a tropical depression and a tropical storm is likely to become off the system again the next name to be used is tammy and let's briefly talk about the caribbean so heading into the region right now here we can see that there isn't a whole lot happening maybe some cloud cover and some passing showers at the most across the various islands but it should be a beautiful morning for most of us but over into some parts in central america especially close to the pacific coast of the different territories there is some activity there uh and speaking of let's now go on to that rainfall forecast for the day so here we are and the more colorful this map becomes the more rainfall is expected so we can see again over in parts of central america sections of mexico going to guatemala maybe some spots in belize not everywhere uh el salvador sections of honduras nicaragua costa rica panama and down in portions of northern south america going to colombia venezuela and even across sections of Guyana. Now, there could be some substantial rainfall not going to be the case for everyone but in areas which experience this rainfall activity there could be flooding being triggered as a result of a lot of heavy rainfall so please stay safe guys if you're to be affected by this as we look to the abc islands we're seeing that there is a chance of rainfall activity we'll see what happens through today I'm going to trinidad and tobago not a whole lot expected maybe a brief thunderstorm or so at the most same story as we head through uh, most of the lesser antilles including barbados so going all the way up into anguilla that might be the story some areas may remain pretty dry today without any rainfall activity whatsoever as we head to the virgin islands puerto rico and even to the dominican republic jamaica and sections of cuba especially over in the western part of cuba there could be some some activity later today showers and some thunderstorms popping up for the cayman islands a whole lot is not expected but then as we head up into portions of uh, south florida headed to the keys and sections of the bahamas there may be some substantial rainfall activity as we head through today and so that is what is expected guys let's now go back to the atlantic and talk about our systems so first up is sean so this is the latest cone forecast this morning and we can see here that it is a tropical depression so it's just below tropical storm status and it is only going to continue to weaken and eventually dissipate it's not producing a whole lot of activity right now either and it should become an open trough as we head into tomorrow so likely not going to be much of an issue uh, as that trough drifts to the west and it is moving to the u.s northwest currently at nine miles per hour let's head on to the main talk of this video invest 94l so this is the latest from the national hurricane center we're still seeing that general westward to west northwest track expected of the system contrary to what models were showing in terms of it turning out and there are changes with the models they're now showing more of a westward trend this is why i say we have to keep watching these systems because a lot can happen between now and and whenever it is going to be approaching likely this weekend headed to early next week so uh, as of now the formation chance remains pretty high at 90% through uh, seven days and 70% through two days so it may still try to develop uh, maybe later in the early or by the middle part of this week let's see what happens let's see if it takes advantage of that conducive environment expected out ahead of it but again on satellite here it is it is not looking too good it's just very disorganized right now there we're seeing all those showers and thunderstorms associated with it, but nothing really consolidating out there. Let's go ahead and look at some model data now. So we're kickstarting first with the model track and intensity guidance, after which we'll go on to the specific runs. We'll go on to GFS, Euro, Canadian, and Icon. So let's start out with the model track guidance. And here we can see that most of these tracks are still showing that westward to west northwest track of the system, similar to what the National Hurricane Center's uh, that shaded area on the graphic is depicting and uh, some of these want to show that turn out to see before the system approaches but others want to take the system close to the caribbean maybe in the caribbean eventually 
as we head on to the intensity guidance, we can see that quite a bit of models are backing off on the potential intensity of the system. We're seeing that uh, still a decent amount of models want to show that, hey, this is going to become a hurricane. Intensity varies from Cat 4 all the way down to Cat 1. And then most are agreeing that it will become a tropical storm. Now expect information within around two to three days. So we'll see what happens with this 94L out there. I mean, initially it was expected to develop as we head to the middle part of the week but then it just started flaring up but uh it has collapsed since likely due to that wind shear taking its toll on the system going on to what these models have to show now we're kickstarting things looking at gfs as i said so this is as we're going to be heading out into monday of next week the 23rd of the month this is a big contrast to what gfs was trending towards for a while we're showing a system strengthening and staying well offshore of the caribbean now it's taking something weaker a lot closer to the Caribbean, maybe a tropical depression uh, making its way toward the region. There we even see hints of that West Caribbean system. And by the way, GFS shows something very interesting. Let's go on out to Wednesday the 25th. There you can see that system just in the vicinity of the Dominican Republic. Also, a lot of moisture in the West Caribbean headed to the vicinity of the Bahamas and another tropical wave approaching. Now, this is as we head out into Saturday the 28th. So, GFS shows that eventually that front is going to open up that leeway for the system to move out. And there you can see it strengthening a bit. We see that pressure down to 996 millibars. When the pressure decreases, that indicates strengthening. But look at the Caribbean as we head to the latter part of the month. This is Tuesday, October. October 31st and take a look at that storm just to the southwest of Jamaica. Pretty interesting here. So GFS is showing something completely different. It's very inconsistent as it relates to what the system is going to do here. Heading on to the Canadian model. This is Friday of this week, the 20th of October. There you can see that system with a pressure of 984 millibars approaching the Lesser Antilles. So Canadian is consistent about that hurricane approach, although I'm not so sure about that right now. It will all be dependent on how much the system can strengthen on how conducive conditions are going to be. Eventually, it shows that it's going to be moving out. It's going to be making that curve by Saturday, uh, the 21st of the month, and eventually making its way out. Now, let's see what the Euro model has to show. So this is as we're going to be heading out into Friday of this week, that weak system approaching the Caribbean. There we see a pressure of 1,080 millibars, so maybe a tropical depression or a tropical storm. And then as we head to Saturday, take a look at this. So we're seeing that low pressure area just between Antigua and Barbuda right there. And there's that front, so eventually it's going to be making its way out. And there we see some intensification as the system moves further and further out. This is Monday, the 23rd of October. So here we're seeing that these models are taking the system much closer. Going on to ICON, the final model we're taking a look at here. This is Saturday, the 21st of the month. So ICON was also trending towards the system, strengthening and making that curve sooner than later. And take a look at this. It is showing something heading much further to the west but take a look at this now these green shadings they represent all that moisture the precipitation rate notice how much this is confined to the eastern side of the system we're seeing something a little bit similar with what happened with philippe with that wind shear taking its toll so this is suggesting a shared tropical cyclone making its approach eventually as we head to sunday the 22nd of october next sunday a week out from now here we can see that again it is showing a shared system so with the system making that very close approach, uh, as what we saw happen with Philippe, there's no 100% uh, guarantee that that won't happen with this system. So we'll definitely have to keep watching this. So again, Eastern Islands should be on watch. We're seeing changes here. And... Uh, as it relates to the National Hurricane Center's uh, graphic, usually when models start showing that curve, it would eventually show it. Let's see if that's going to come up as we head into today, but it has been very consistent with that west-northwestward track. And I mean, even models are changing now, as we even saw with ICON and GFS with the more westward moving system and the more that front is delayed the more to the west it's going to be moving think of it as a delay to open that door for it to curve out a sea that high pressure is just going to remain dominant and continue steering the system to the west so we'll have to see guys but of course i'll be keeping you posted through this week so stay tuned for my next updates stay tuned for my update later today and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you and i hope you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions 
is, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be with the wise.